right now. Turn to Allah and say, oh Allah, forgive me. That simple. That simple. What separated Islam from any other religion? There's no middleman in Islam. You don't need to sit in a box or put some money in a box or sit in front of a human being and confess to this and con no. Between you and Allah right now, right now between you and Allah, say, oh Allah, forgive me. Know that Allah will forgive you. This is the beauty of Islam. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what condition you're in, no matter how much sin you've committed, know Allah Azza wa forgives all sins. Hadith could see authentic hadith. Allah says what? Allah says, O oh my slaves, those who have transgressed against themselves, don't you ever, ever give up hope in the mercy of your Rabb, in the mercy of your Lord. Don't ever give up hope. And I'm not here to, 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 wallahi, to sweeten the, you know, or to try and inspire you or to wow you with my speech. Wallahi, I'm not. I'm speaking direct, authentic material. Don't you ever, I don't care how much sin you've committed, don't you ever give up hope in the mercy of your Lord. And look at this concept of Islam. I challenge this with anything and everyone else. You know, everything else in this world, you know, your best friend, everyone in this room, has a best friend, has a kawi. Or if you're one of the boys, bro, we're like that, bro. I'll take a bullet for him, bro. Bullet, while like firecrackers go off, people run out. You let alone bullets. <laughs> All right? Wallahi, no matter how close your friend is, if you push the right buttons, wallahi, they will disown you. I've had BFFs go to war with each other because of what she said and how she said it and the way she looked at me and the way I looked at her. I've had blood brothers, let alone, you know, your mate, your kawi at school. I've had blood brothers go to war and shoot each other. Wallahi, this dunya, nothing is forever. Anyone and everyone in this world, if you push the right buttons, they will disown you. You know, you can work for a company and give them the best years of your life. Work there for 30 years straight. You never took a day off. You never took a sick day. You were there 10 minutes before work and 10 minutes after work. And wallahi, even this company, they have a schedule, they have rules and regulations that if you break them, know that you're gone, you're done, you're finished. Your own mother, does anyone in this world, is there any doubt in anyone's mind that there's someone other than your mother that loves you? And is there anyone that loves you more than your mother? Impossible. Wallahi, even your mother, if you push the right buttons, she'll disown you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the King, he says, oh my slaves, do whatever you please. Do it a million times. Disobey me. Do whatever you want for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50, 60 years. You never prayed. You never fasted. Sin among sin. And then once, only once, you turn to me and you say, Ya Rabb. Allah says, Ya Abdi Naam, what do you want, man? What do you want? Allah forgives. Now, you don't need to read a book. You don't need to sign up or an application. Now, right now, between you and Allah. And no one can take that away from you. Turn to Allah. Allah says, my slave, if you come to me with an earth load of sin, but you don't associate partners with me, I will come to you with forgiveness that matches it. Allah says, oh my slave, if you come to me a hand span, I come to you an arm's length. If you come to me walking, I come to you running. My slave, when you remember me, I remember you. My slave, when you forget me, I still remember you. So yeah, if you've sinned and you've lost hope, then I tell you right now, make tawbah to Allah. Just right now, between you and your heart, Ask Allah for sincere forgiveness. And wallahi, you will taste immediate Iman. And then obviously work on this and try to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of course, and I'm sure you know the pattern. I want to share an incredible opportunity for you to establish a Sadaqah Jariya, a continuing charity that can earn you the pleasure of Allah and bless you with paradise. Islam Net is a Norwegian Dawah organization that requires your support to establish a masjid and Dawah center in Norway in order to spread the message of Islam. The property has been purchased and it needs to be converted into a masjid. 
If you make a sincere donation towards this cause, it will, inshallah, protect you from the heat of the grave. As the Prophet Sallallahu had said, and it will further shade you on the Day of Judgment, at the time when people will be terrified and only the believers will be shaded in the shade of their charity. Also, this donation may please Allah so much that He will forgive all of your sins and build a place for you in Jannah. The Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever builds a masjid for Allah, Allah will build for him a house in Jannah. Donate now to IslamNet, my brothers and sisters, to become a part of this great Islamic project. Allah promises ongoing rewards for the good acts that your contribution will make possible. For every salah performed in the masjid, for every act of worship, for every person whose heart is drawn towards Allah, you will be rewarded, inshallah. Your small act of charity will produce immeasurable rewards for you in the life to come. Barakallah fikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.